Hey everybody, it's Alex, and this is take two on trying to do a video because some little people running around here don't like to listen. But anyways, um, yesterday my husband went into work a little later, so I got to go to a Joann's that was a little past his work and to a thrift store over there that I have always wanted to stop into, but I'm always in that area like real early in the morning and they don't open until 10, so this time I was able to go and the, that was yesterday and the night before I stopped at Goodwill I only found this here it's called um, Haunted Damask I, my daughter got a couple of things and then I got some um, they sell like bed pillows like that you sleep on that are uh, brand new so I got some of those but this was the only crafty thing that I found it was $1.16 then I had gotten some at the grocery store that day when I went for a walk. I had gotten some cheesecloth. And I tell you what, I've used it on a couple of things already and I already want some more. They had, um, you know that cooking brand uh, Chef, I think it's Chef Mate or something like that. Well, they had it in their baking, uh, well no, no, not their baking stuff, with their cooking utensils like that you could buy. And it was like five sixty seven, and then this was hanging. I said, I know I see, I've seen it like hanging on a um, like a strip, you know, like they'll hang like little sandwich cutters and just little straws and odds and ends on like little strips, and it was there, and it was a dollar ninety nine for this. So I definitely want to get more of that. So that was from the day before yesterday, and oh, and I also went to Walmart yesterday, and I just pick up picked up a couple of random little things, but um. So yesterday at Joann's, when I walked into the store, it was like a time capsule. I walked in and it looked just like my store that I go to, but like how it used to be, like how their setup was before. So, um, I mean, they did carry like the newer things, but it's just set up differently. And they didn't have any like crazy clearance or anything like spectacularly different. But I did find a few things. One thing I wanted to look in was their their dollar bin, you know, with the Studio 112 stuff. Because I don't think my Joann's has restocked it in a very long time. It's still like the same old stickers lingering around. Um, there's a few older stamps that are in there. And they just haven't, like, restocked it in a long time. So I was able to find a couple over there. There was a bunch of stamps, but only a few that I really liked. I did process of elimination, you know. So I found these pretty little butterflies, and they have open spots, you know, so you can color them in, or stamp them plain, however you want to do. I found this hummingbird. I found this really cool starfish. And I found this butterfly. So those are... The Studio 112 stamps. There was a few other ones that looked like picture frames and little swirly designs and stuff, but I didn't grab those. Um, of their new stamps that they got, I, I grabbed these, and it's just called Birthday Bash, and it's got all the little numbers, and I love the balloons. And it's first, second, third, fourth, and it has little stars and stuff here. I love this Celebrate with all the little stars out there. May your birthday be as special as you are, and then happy birthday. And I love the little swirly do things there. So and this stuff was 30% off, which isn't that great, but that's all right. Then I picked this one. I was looking for the one there that um, Karen got, JB Lady Scrapper 48, and I saw it at my um, Joann's the last time that I went, like a week or so ago, two ago, I don't know. And I didn't grab it because I was, you know, I already had in my, I already had too much. <laughs> so this store didn't have it though. But I got this set and it says, um, smile, today is your day. And then it has some stuff right there. Sorry for the glare, I got the blinds open. And then like a ticket and then live, laugh, love, imagine, dream, cherish, bliss, joy, wish. Time to celebrate, cheers to you. Make every day extraordinary. And everything is better with you. And those are cool. That one's cool because it looks like a little ticket. So that's neat. 
And then I also, I saw these last time at my Joann's and I didn't pick them up. And this time, this I wanted to look for these too. So I got these two and they're Fiskars, but Teresa Collins design. And it's technically for this machine, but it's just a regular stamp. And as long as you have like a longer block, you can stamp it, you know, you can stamp it down. It works the same as a regular um, stamp, you know. And this has text, and it's like the definition of funny family. And, yeah. Okay, that's it. But it's really cool, that one. And then, of course, this one, the film strip thing. Really neat looking. And it even has, like, the little things that the film strips have. So that. And then the last thing, other than... My son got a Pez, and my daughter got some cheese crackers. I picked up one of these, um, you know, reusable bags. Because when I went to the upcycling place, I took them in my bags and sat them down. And she's like, oh, I'll go through them later. And um, she kept my bags. So now I don't have any. So I bought this one. So that's all I got there. And then... Real quick from Walmart, this is nothing fun, I just got some tape. I got this new color, it's called Innocent. So as you see, my nails are already messed up. Then I just grabbed a couple candles. I love candles, I just love them. And I got some from Ikea on Friday when I went, last Friday when I went. Um, and they smell really good in the jar, but they don't smell very good. Not very good. You don't really smell them at all when they when they burn them. So I have a tough time finding candles. I usually get the Yankee candles from like TJ Maxx and stuff because they're a little cheaper than going to the regular store. But anywho, so I went to the thrift store and I got this big old bag here of stuff. And I haven't recently like... I don't know, since I was younger going shopping with my mom, have I gone to the thrift store and things been like 10 cents, 25 cents, 75 cents? I mean, I mean, look at Goodwill. This is, at my Goodwill, this is their cheapest price, $1.16. For anything, that is their cheapest price. It used to be 76 cents. And I've seen people do haul videos where they go to Goodwill and buy stuff for 40 cents. I mean, so I was like ecstatic when I went into this place. So let me show you what I found. I found a bag of buttons for 50 cents and it has like some cute little images on there. It has some really pretty buttons. I haven't opened them because I... I'm doing a video. Video, yeah. She is? Is she sad? Yeah. Oh, well, that's because she wasn't listening. Excuse me, can you move your little feet? Excuse me, buddy. Okay, here, he wants you to see his car. See? Can you see it on the screen? No, you have to show it this way, look. See? Wow, cool. Or this way? No, not this way. Okay, mommy's gotta do my video, okay? This way? Okay, excuse me. Can you sit over here and play with your cars? Okay, cool. So yeah, bag of buttons. <laughs> That's my candle. You want to smell it? And then I found this one. Smell it. No, we can't stick the cars in the candles. We don't do that. No, no. But you can sit and play. You can play. You can play. Yeah, you can play with race cars on the table. So yeah, this one had some more really pretty buttons. And this one didn't have the, I don't think, the cool graphic. Like these, this would be cool if you took that off the back. You can use it like a charm. I mean, you don't have to take it off, but you could use it like a charm. You could paint it like gold or something or silver. Okay, buddy. Yes, yeah, see, another race car. Mm-hmm, he got that one yesterday. Um... Or you could take that piece off and use it like a handle pull. Okay, buddy, please go over there. Thank you. So, that one. Then this bag of buttons. This one had some pretty ones in there. Look at those blue flower ones. And the green ones. 
So 50 cents. Last time I went to um, the thrift store, I went to the hospice thrift store and they had a bag of buttons and I remember sending a picture to Karen and it was $19.99 for a bag of buttons. I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, I know they're, they need the money for a good cause and they have overhead and stuff like that, but I'm like, you don't have to buy any of this stuff. It's all donated. I mean, that is just ridiculous. But anyways, um, then I found these little things. These were 50 cents and they're, they look like you could have made them into like earrings, like back in the day, but they would be cool for like flowers or just a little something, something on a project. So, so there's a dollar right there for all that. That's great. Then I got this, and this was 10 cents, and it's that, like, raffia kind of stuff. But I just liked how it was, like, a shiny green. Most of them are, like, real, like, paper looking. So I thought it was cool. Then I found this pretty little angel thing, and it didn't have a price or anything on it, so they gave it to me for a quarter. And um, you could glue something to the top, a mason jar or uh, something. Maybe not a mason jar, but, you know, something like if you had a plain jar, you glue it to the top and make your own kind of thing. So I thought that was cute. Oh, another bag of buttons. And look, like this one has like super cute imaging, imaging, images on the packaging. That's what I'm trying to say. Cute stuff. Then I found this. This is 25 cents. And it's a bunch of like lace. Trim, or not trim, what's that? I have it lace bias something or other or something like that. I have some. Then I found this little bit of vintage lace. It was 25 cents. Oops, wait, I grabbed two. So that was pretty cool. Then I found these glass beads. And they have like the awareness ribbon on them, and it was 25 cents. Then I found this spool of lace, and it has some you can't really see it, but it has some like yellow in it. And this was a dollar, and I was like, eh, but it had quite a bit on there, so and it's older. So that was pretty good. Then I found this for 10 cents, one of those paper mache hearts. And I found these for 10, or no, 50 cents. Flat back pearls. And look, 349. And that was like back in the day. So that was cool. Oh my foot's falling asleep. Oh my goodness. That's what happens when you do these videos a few times. So then, okay, I thought this was, this is from Dollar Tree. I remember seeing this a long time ago. But um, it's a porcelain, like, doll head and hands. And I would have never bought it before. It was 75 cents. But I'm kind of intrigued. I might do something. <clears throat> do something with that. I'll see, unless I just gift it to one of my super duper crafty friends. Then I found these circle dimensional dot things, foam adhesive, 25 cents. And I found this big doily thing that you can cut apart. It looks like some of it was gone already, but um, it was 25 cents. Then, whoa, what's the matter? Oh, he fell down in the hallway. Then the last couple of things, I just got my daughter some cute little jeans, or they're like capris, you know, little short things. And then I got her these, if we can ever get our spring break weather here. Yesterday morning, it was 48 degrees when we woke up. 
and that is just not normal for Florida at all. <laughs> so that is everything that I've gotten. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and Gabriel's little cars. That was the dryer. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.